So I was in Miami, <sighs> Miami, what you doing to me? Your Goodwills are just phenomenal, okay, phenomenal. <laughs> I had a good time at um, the Goodwill headquarters the other day, and I don't know if I'm going to post that video before or after this, I'm getting this information out to you because I'm going to go and wear these clothing. So I'm like, I need to do this video so that you can see all the cute stuff so that I can go home and wash it and wear it. So I went to the Goodwill headquarters and I got a list of all the Goodwills in Broward. Uh, they gave me a list. They provided me a list of all the um, Goodwills in Broward, Dade, and Monroe counties. They love what I do. They're so thankful for my support of Goodwill and their mission. And so they were like, here's a list, like, whatever you need, do it. And so you know a meetup is coming, right? I'm putting together a proposal for, proposal for some meetups, so doing some work people but that being said one of the goodwills that came to out of their mouth was the goodwill on bird road um uh, i want to say it's coral gables i used to live in midtown and i kept in my little area so west of miami i don't really know about coral gables, coral gables a little bit but i want to say it's coral gables anyway they said dion you have to go to the coral gables store they have such amazing stuff and you know when people say that to me i'm like your amazing might not be my amazing. So let me go and check the store out. But I went and you know what? They had a really great selection of a lot of things. They had a few designer pieces. I saw some Burberry shoes there. I saw um, some Michael Kors. I saw some Coach. Um, I saw a few designer pieces. It was a great store. But you know what I've, what I've noticed with all Goodwills is that it's hit or miss. It's thrift, right? So one store may be great one day and then you go back and it's a dud the next way. Well, this day... I don't know who this chica linda is that donated all her eloquy, but I'm thankful to her because I snuffed it right up. Um, and so I'm going to, let's do the shop with me and try on and then we'll come back and I'll show you what I actually purchased. Since I'm out here exploring, I am in a thrift store in Miami and I was told that this one has one of the best assortments of everything. And I just found like all this eloquy. Look at the one, two, three. Is this eloquy too? All this eloquy, like, and it's brand new too. Eloquy, 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 all eloquy. Now, I do love this yellow, and you guys know that I love a stripe. Oh, ooh, look at this. this? Oh, you know, I love black and white. And if you got my guide, you know that's what's in right now. They're all like 10 bucks, and they're 18s and 20s. Let's see, what size is this? I really like that color. I love a vibrant color. This is ten dollars, and they all seem to be brand new. Size eighteen, ten dollars. I just found this awesome, beautiful, eloquy piece. It's fifteen bucks. It has like some stuff here, but I can take that to a dry cleaner. But it's gorgeous. Look at these cutouts. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, so I just found more Eloquy and their print. I love, oh, look at this one. Look at this one, guys. Oh, Lord. Oh, I feel a hole coming on. Here's some more, but here's my dilemma. There, I'm, not, I'm not going anywhere to wear this type of stuff. So it'll be a waste, right? Here's another one I found. It's ridiculous. Why am I getting these? Hello darlings, I always like to start the video showing you what I have on. My hair is like, I hairsprayed it, but it's not. This is my mohawk, it's shaved on the sides and on the back. I just have like this thing right here. But there's my hair for the day. And here's my visitor tag because I went to the Goodwill headquarters today. So that was an experience. I never forget. Um, there's just a lot they just do so much and so after i went to the headquarters i just felt inspired i'm like i have to go thrift so <laughs> i'm here at a thrift store and they have a lot of eloquence um i don't know if this is from somebody's closet i don't know but it's blessed my life but i want to show you my outfit because i know that you guys want to know what i do in a day and how i do mom life this is a, it's actually a dress but I was feeling very bohemian today and I had on my crossbody bag. So um, ASOS, um, these are some thrifted um, faux leather pants, my Primark shoes to go with my bag, pink lip. Oh, can you see lip? Pink lip. So yeah, 
It's very basic. But let's get to try on some of this stuff because I'm really, really excited. Um, Eloquity is a brand that I really, really um, enjoy, but it's out of my price range at this time because I'm saving for so much and paying off debt. And so I'm excited to see these pieces here. So I'm going to load up. Let's try some stuff on first before I buy them, of course. Okay, so I'm in the fitting room and I'm trying to see if I can like hold this so that you guys can get the full effect. This is the first Eloquy dress. It has a tulip bottom. Um, and as I mentioned, like in my guide, a floral, big floral print is what you're looking for. I really like this. And I can always tell if I like something when I start closing it. So when I start doing all of this, that means I like it. If I'm just like, mm, then it's not me. So I really like this print though. I gotta pull on the girdle so I can be snatched. <laughs> but I really like this. I really like this part because it flows away from the body. So yeah, I like this. This is gonna be good. Put on something else. Okay, guys. So the zipper is down in the back, so there's no real way for me to like let you guys see what it looked like closed. But I love the cutouts here. I'm thinking that when it's pulled up, you don't see the bra. But I like the sleeve detail. How is that? It's kind of thrown off by like my leggings, but I like it. It's very dainty which I tend not to be, <laughs> but sometimes I like to be a lady, but I like it. I'm still deciding. The thing that, the reason I would get it is because of this cutout detail in the arm. I prefer pencil just because that's who I am. I think that this is, I don't know, like I'm not posing in it, you know? I don't know. I'm going to think about it because I really like, like when you see this top part, oh, boom, hitting the wall. When you see this top part, it's like, bam, mm, giving it to them. You see this bottom part, it looks like Sunday school. I don't know, it's very girly. But with my hair and everything, I think, I gotta see how I feel. This is very like something else wearing Good Morning Texas, like on TV or something. It's one of those type of things. But I don't know, I kinda, I like it. I don't, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> okay, so this is more, I, mean, I feel like my hair needs to be big for this dress. Hold on, my hair needs to be like rocker chic, giving it to him all the way. Yeah, it needs to be like big. This is more like my zhuzh. I gotta get snatched with my girdle. <laughs> but this is more my style. This is definitely like black patent Louboutins. I love this. And I know some of you are scared of print. I'm not scared of print, it doesn't bother me. I know that I'm busty. I think it actually makes them look more zhuzh more like juicy <laughs> but I don't care I just need to get snatched in here so I would put in like my good Sunday girl or like 10 pounds 10 more pounds I've been doing really good getting my cholesterol down and my weight together so yeah I just need to get snatched but I like this I like this dress this is more this is more my zhuzh the other one I was trying to make it work but this just makes me feel good when I start posing and doing all this type of stuff it means I like it, it means I'm feeling myself all right, let's try out this print right here. I'm excited about that. Okay, so I'm just trying this on with the dress. Well, let me take this off. It's kind of distracting, right? Let me take this off. Um, this is the skirt. Um, I know that a lot of my plus size women are scared of print. I am not. I love print. Um, I think it shows my personality. So this is actually kind of cute. Something I'd wear, you know, mom day no belt or anything i love this it hits at the right place right here i think this is just very casual and very nice it's very nice something i can put on with a tank top and i'm good to go i can wear it with red or blue or i don't know i don't i, I like it though i like the print i can pattern mix it but this i like it like this because i really can put on like some converse or just a red slide and run out the house and i look like i'm put together like i put some effort into my look so Five dollars, I think, too. I mean, who could be that five dollars for eloquent? And all this stuff is like pretty new, so it probably came out of somebody's closet. So I'm excited. Look at all this print I got going on. <laughs> oh, me and print. All right, let's try on some more skirts. Okay, so here's my thing I'm addicted to <laughs> pleated leather skirts, faux leather skirts, whatever you want to call them. I'm addicted to them. I love them. I have, oh gosh. 
I have one from Wayne Bryant that I've thrifted. I have one, I got like four from England at Sainsbury's for like five pounds. Um, okay. Um, I love them. Every time I find them, I buy them. And I just think they're just so flattering. Now in South Florida, it's like 900 degrees, so I don't know what I'm doing with them, but I, lo I love this. I love this eloquent one. I think it fits so well. I just love it. I just and then look at this one. I don't know if you can see the actual color, but it's it's blue. It looks navy, but it's more. Let me see if I can get a good color right there. Mm, right there, maybe. That's like the true color, and it's new because look at this. The tape is still on it. So this is like brand new, unworn. I don't need another one of these, but I I mean, gosh, dog it. It's like ten dollars. <sighs> When I start posing, like, I promise you, when I start posing like this, that means it's, it's a goner. It's mine. I really like this. I don't. The other one, the one that I have, let me not say that. The one that I have from um, Play Bryant is like flat panel here, and then it goes out. This one is just a true pleat from the waist. I love this. Especially like, you know, summer's coming up, parties. I got baby showers, bridal showers. I got all this stuff going on. I love this. I really do. Like, so nice. Oh, I love that. I don't know. I don't need. I, I'm getting this blue one now. This blue one I'm getting. This black one. I don't know. I don't know. Do I need another pleated faux leather skirt in Florida? That's the question. Absolutely not. I do not need it, but I want it. <laughs> All my thrifters out there, you know it. Like, you just find something and it's good and it's cheap and it's fabulous. I really like this. I really like this. You know what? Let me show you what I'm getting so far, though. So, I got, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this dress. I'm still iffy on this. The question I always like to ask myself, the question I always ask myself is, would someone rock it better than me? Like, should I leave it on the, when I think about thrift and buying for myself, should I leave it on the rack for someone else who's gonna rock it better than me? And I don't think so. I don't, I don't think anybody's gonna like wear it better than me. Vanity, y'all, vanity. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna make a decision. I'm, I'm, between this and that, I'm gonna make a decision. This is ten dollars, so ten dollars, ten dollars, uh, fifteen dollars. This was five. This was fifteen. This was fifteen. So forty-five, fifty, sixty, seventy for like six pieces from Ellery. That's not. That's not bad, right? I really want this skirt. You know what it is? Like, the minute you've already, you know, put outfits together in your brain, it's a goner. Like, you've already put outfits together. Like, a white tank top, these, some really high, beautiful shoes. I can even work with flats, I feel like. It's very classic. Oh my god, look how it moves. That's what's getting me, it's how it moves. Because the other one that I have doesn't move like this. I'm sorry I'm spending so much time on this skirt, but this is really how I deliberate when I'm shopping. Like, you don't need it. You really don't need it, Deontay, but you want it. All right, we'll see what I decide. <laughs> okay, so I wanted everything in that fitting room. <laughs> But everything was not for me. I loved all of the pieces, but I'm working on my fitness. I'm working on my exercise. And so it just was not rational for me to invest in size, you know, 18 to 20s when I don't plan on being that size too much longer. Like I'm working on getting into my size 16s. And so, <clears throat> yes, I could have bought them, you know, worn them a few times and put them on Poshmark, but I would rather, you know, put that 10 or $20 into, you know, you know, buying good stuff at Trader Joe's, you know, investing in my health, um, investing in my fabulous nails, darling, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I don't want to put that money in my closet just for it to sit there. It just, you know what I mean? Like, I just wasn't 
No. And then I really liked the dress with the cutouts and the arms, but I liked the top. I didn't like the bottom. <sighs> Could I have made it work? Yes. It was very much like a day party type of dress. Um, it just, it was, it was, it was, it was okay. So anyway, the two dresses that I liked that I purchased were the two that made me feel the most like Dion Dean and the two that I just really moved and you saw me in the, in the fitting room like when I start feeling myself in the fitting room that's a Dion Dean dress if I have to pick at it and like eh, I would say if you doubt don't like if you if you put something on and you're like oh, I love this then get that because that's what you want so I got this I got this dress I got this one I, I mean I was gonna this is like this is this is a Dion Dean dress. The graphic print, the black and white, the pop of color, the pencil. Like this is this is me. This this is me. So I got that, and then I got this dress. Once again, you saw it in the video. These are the two pieces that I fell in love with. Um, I'm gonna find like some blue shoes that I want to wear. I'm not quite sure. Blue. I really, what I really, 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 really want are the Louboutin Pigal plateaus. They're the pointy toe Louboutin with the little um, pump, and I didn't think it was very practical for me to get because I'm not wearing. I'm not in the corporate setting anymore. I'm not in education or the corporate setting, and so for me, you know, getting Louboutins, you know, but but I want them. So I don't have to explain why I want them. I want them. I, like my husband says, you like what you like. Mm, the man of God preaches. Um, so I got these two. I got these as well. I got this um, Ashley Stewart top. This is actually in a 26, 28. And I got it because it's a huge blouse and I could wear it. Huge on me. I can wear it, you know, with those same pants that you guys saw in the video. And it's lightweight, you know, Florida. And that's another thing. That's another thing why I didn't get the skirts. I really, really love them and they fit my aesthetic. It was, you saw the battle I was having in my mind. But Florida is about to be real hot and I probably won't get more than one or two wears out of them so um, I did get this I found this this is eloquent as well I found this when I came out of the fitting room it's simply just I'm trying to keep it down so that you can see the uh, um, so the light doesn't mess with it it's just a peplum black peplum top and so I got these I got this one because I can roll up the sleeves put it on with you know a pair of distressed pants and I'm good to go so yeah, I didn't want to make this video like too, too long, but I um, just wanted to show you my process of elimination and like how I think, I I think it's valuable for you guys to see how I um, treat myself in the fitting room because I feel like every woman should have like a star fitting room experience. You should just love yourself and love what you're wearing and be excited about clothing. So, you know, I don't mind bringing you in there with me. Let me know if you want to see more. Love you. We never pay retail. Bye.